Hi, I'm Jennifer Piper, and I'm joined today by Freemason Gabinda Gill. Gabinda, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. You're a fellow craft in Freemasonry, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. What does that mean? Uh, it's essentially the second degree, uh, the second step that you take in order to become a master mason, which sort of fulfills your journey into Freemasonry. So, so that's the second stage of being a Freemason. So you're halfway to becoming a, a yes, full-fledged. Yeah. Full Half-baked mason. <laughs> Uh, now, you're originally from Malaysia. Uh, yes, yes. And it was your grandfather who originally moved to Malaysia? Uh, yes, he did. Uh, he moved just before World War II. Uh, as I said, uh, he's, uh, he's always wanted to join the British Army, but he didn't make it due to height requirements. So he packed his bags and showed up in Malaysia, and uh, my dad was born there, and so was I. And we moved to Melbourne a little under six years ago with my wife, my two older boys. I've got three now. So one was born in Australia. Yes. That must have been a big move to make. Uh, look, it was. Uh, we won a good innings back in Malaysia, me and my wife. Uh, but, uh, you know, we just made the choice for, for the kids' sake. Uh, hope they can get a better future. Uh, nothing against Malaysia, it's a beautiful country, but uh, we just took our choice because we qualified to move. And there are many who want to move, but they don't qualify. So that, that was the reason. Yeah. What prompted you to become a Freemason? I never had a chance to join Freemason back in Malaysia, so when I came to Australia, I uh, knew that it was a bit more open, and uh, I'm always uh, someone who wants to uh, show example to my kids, a and the values that Freemasons propagate, it it's something that I think the kids can use in today's world, you know, and uh, so that was one of the main reasons. I'm, I'm a very community person, I serve in a few committees, but it's all been the uh, Sikh communities, and I wanted something more mainstream, there are more Australians that I can mix with and probably that was some of the other reasons and I'm, I'm quite big on personal development as well and uh, so Freemason is so much of history behind it it just helps you develop better as a person and as a human so that is sort of the main underlying reasons of joining Freemasons. How, how does Freemasonry intersect with your faith as a Sikh? Uh, look the, the first thing and the entry bar of Freemason is you need to believe in the great being and, and Sikhism obviously does that and Sikhism is a very liberal religion you know uh, besides the form that you have to observe uh, which the, you don't which I don't I'm, I'm a bit naughty in that sense uh, but they believe in God they believe in sharing your honest earnings with someone and they believe in the principle of prayer and earning an honest living so it sort of uh, mixes match with what Freemason propagates as well and so there's, there's no conflict that's what I would say are there many Indian Freemasons that you know? Uh, in Victoria, uh, there's one Indian member in my lodge. Uh, but other than that, I've not really come across. Uh, we had a visitor last week. But he was Anglo-Indian, so wouldn't place him as an Indian Indian. Uh, <laughs> but back in Malaysia, yes, uh, the, the, uh, all, all the members that I knew of were all Indians. And uh, yeah, as I said, doctors, solicitors, and but not so much in Victoria. Probably I've not gone around to the lodges and I don't know, but the way I see it, no, they're not too many at all. What, what would you say to somebody who's considering Freemasonry? I think it's uh, just jump in. I mean, it's, it, it's <laughs> we do everything right. Uh, it's not illegal, it's, uh, it's not dodgy. And uh, you're gonna make lots of friends. You're gonna make friends, uh, and these friends actually care for you, care for your well-being, and uh, why not? Govinda, thank you so much for joining us. Yep. My pleasure once again, uh, Jennifer, and you have a good day. <laughs>